Hello and welcome to the MVS show, episode number 542? Yeah, on 542 now. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. First up is new Crystal Plus Twilight Sparkle arrives from Mighty Jacks. Mighty Jack is back again with a brand new big Twilight Sparkle statue. She's 8.5 inch high with a completely custom model following the same crystal mean as sorry um mean and tail as the Crystal Friends series from the last few years. Except expect to pay uh, anime figure price for this one. Uh, this one though, she clocks in at 169 nice dollars. Find her over on the main page with countdown for days before the order opens. Actual release appears to be on the 10th of December. Uh, get pictures below. So uh, I've checked out that website. Yep, it's uh, $169. And going down below and looking at the pictures, it's kind of cool. Um, Description, let's see. Yes, Pony fans, we heard you. Behold, the first... Uh, First in our Crystal brand, uh, Crystal Plus, My Little Pony, Twilight Sparkle. Join us to witness the beauty of Twilight Sparkle like never seen before. Elegant upside and uh, reimagined by Mighty Jacks. So, uh, did, can't say much because uh, this looks pretty cool. Uh, you, you can see the figure is custom molded. Uh, this is using the... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, end of season nine, uh, version of Twilight when she's all alicorn big and whatnot, and also we do see that her mane is crystal, like the uh, crystal friend thingy that they showed off from what you call this, um, Mighty Jacks. Also, we do see some previews here. I wonder if EQD has some uh, better shots. Let's see. So let's see. Okay, they, they do. So zooming in, you see her at 8.5 inch, which is pretty tall, I think. I don't have a ruler with me, but 8.5 is good. Uh, we do see uh, back views. I do like the shape. They, they really put some thought into this. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is a 3D render or a mold, but it looks good. Yeah, uh, nothing much I can say about this for now, but <clears throat> for $169, I say that's pretty neat. And yeah, if you're a collector and whatnot, probably go get it. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, probably go get it. If you collect uh, this and want to have it in your collection, yeah, go do so. So I'm moving to the next news. Official Chinese trading cards from Caillou getting Japanese and English versions. All those trading cards we've been spamming in the international merch label here on EQD from Caillou are apparently making the trip to other countries. They confirm that the United States and European, both uh, European, uh, Europe, will be will both be receiving English translation versions. In the new future, with Japanese translations, one also happening. Double Dove translated their press release for this and sent over more pictures. They are also running a month-long pinky party flash event in Shanghai. Um, <clears throat> let's see, uh, Hasbro... On October 17, 2024, Caillou held a press conference and officially announced that it had reached an in-depth co cooperation with Hasbro, the world's leading toy and gaming company, and obtained the global authorization 
of the My Little Pony series. Ah, that's fascinating. At the press conference, the English and Japanese version of My Little Pony Cards production debut on the first time for the first time and plans to sell them in Southeast Asia, Japan, South Korea. The this market is important step for Kayu in its global marketing strategy. So I'm just gonna stop there because long story short, Kayu is using ponies to uh expand global domination. So yeah, that's that sounds logical enough. <clears throat> and yeah. So personal uh experience with Kayu, I've seen their product in uh, many, well, certain shops. I, I've been to one, they have it, and they have a lot of uh, trading cards, so on. Uh, they cost about 12 or 6 or whatever ringgit. And inside there, there's a booster pack. Uh, you, you crack it open, you get cards and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the things that irks me is that the cards are in Chinese. I don't read Chinese, so that's unfortunate for me. But with this, uh, I I'm seeing uh, a pattern. Like, it seems that they're getting what you call this. Um, it seems like they're building confidence with Hasbro, showing them that hey, uh, we're doing this, and it seems that uh, things are going well. And uh, the what you call this? Um, the uh. The, the, um, sorry, I'm finding the word. Uh, I was just say this. Uh, people are, re uh, are are positively reacting to this, and they want to. Oh boy, I am all over the place just because of that one word. Anyway, uh, long story short, Caillou is expanding. They they have confidence in their product, and their product seems to be selling well in uh, China and some part of Southeast Asia now, and now they're getting in, uh, sorry, now they're translating their product for the global audience, for uh, Southeast Asia and so on, like they mentioned here before uh, in the press release, what? Um, uh, Southeast Asia, Japan, and Cor South Korea. <clears throat> and one of the most popular language in the world is English, so they just have to translate Probably English and Japanese, like they mentioned here. I'm not sure about Korean, but if they do have Korean, that will be awesome too. But uh, for this situation here right now, if they can just push English, Caillou is going to have really good time in the pony market. Like we, <laughs> like uh, most um, companies saw in the early. 2010s with, uh, for example, um, Funkos with their uh, vinyl series for the ponies or Wheel of Fine earlier in the years with their t-shirts and so on. So uh, Caillou having trading cards, especially if pony conventions are still going on, those vendors are going to grab some of this, put it on their vending stall, uh, collectors, uh, trading card people, they're going to have a good time because they can trade the cards with their friends and so on. Uh, let's just say that this is going to be an amazing look for uh, pony collecting. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But still, I, I do have a good feeling about this one. So moving on. Uh, lots of pony plush figures and more re uh, reveal at China Licensing Expo. Ah, all right. Uh, we got a ton of merchandising pop up from the Chinese licensing expo today, including some very cool plush. Unfortunately, this were uh, these are all handmade creator showcase in this image, but maybe it hints that we finally get an official autumn blaze. Uh, all right then. Uh, so this one here are all customs, not for sale. And this one are all, uh, what you call this? Um, uh, sellable. Okay, so 
Mm, sorry, I'm just clicking through, uh, enlarging some that I think are going to be fun and cool. So, oh, that's cool. All right. All right. So let's just take a look. See, so we got this first one here. Uh, it seems that we are, we might be getting a lot of cool stuff. Uh, this looks like a pouch that you can put your card keys in card key. Yeah. Card stuff, uh, blind box for heart forming Eve plush cool. Applejack has her hat. So yeah, th this, this seems really okay. And we did report on this a while back before. So that's cool. Next up is some G5 products. This seems to be, what are these? Magnets, I think could be probably, I don't know. Not bad. Uh, these are official toys, I think. Yeah, this could be official pony toys. Yep. Ah, these are the cool accessory stuff. Wait, this, I, I, I remember I have that. Now I need to remember where I put it. Somewhere here, I guess. Huh. All right, cool, cool. But yeah, um, it seems that there's a lot of keychains and whatnot and accessories. Oh, we got a Rubik's cube here. That's cool. Yeah, it, it seems like China is really pushing it. So that's cool. Uh, what else here? We do see some other cool accessory stuff. This is cool. I, I can't wait to see what we're, uh, what, what they'll be selling here or what we, um, push, uh, fun friends, fun and friends. Uh, we seem to have pictures with, oh, this is cool. You can paint your own pony stuff. So that's, that's cool. Accessories. These are cool too. Ah, th these are cute. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I can't say much like th this is just awesome, man. Bolsters and whatnot. And yeah, it's, uh, what's this? Hasbro 2024 Chinese, uh, uh, sim this, mm, can't read that. So yeah, this is the custom phones and yeah, uh, it, it seems that there's a lot in the pipeline that's coming out probably. Oh, we do have the book of harmony plush there too. So yeah, let's move on. Let's move on. We may have almost, sorry. We may have almost had a G5 Equestria Girls, but it was canceled. So the G5 intrigue never ends, does it? Apparently in, sorry, apparently an infographic was released showing of humanized G5 cartoon called Cutie Mark Club that was going to be a third show going along with both Tell Your Tale and Make Your Mark, most likely tied into those G5 EG toys we saw pop up ages ago. Apparently this, uh, apparently, this apparently never happened, but it, it uh, but it's interesting to think that of what they could have done with it. Hopefully G6 uh, is a bit less chaotic. Huh. They, they look pretty good don't mind it but i do wonder why they didn't even consider doing it huh it's it's, it's just that you've already pushed the doll angle with uh, equestria girls and i'm not 100 sure how well that did well they did pretty good in terms of their shows so i'm assuming that did well and Having this as what, um, more content with it. I don't know. I mean, it feels like they should have just pulled the gun and go with it. But in terms of story, right? Like I personally feel like it would have been a very 
interesting story. And granted that if they kept with the lore of uh, Equestria Girls and also G4 and so on, like just kept that going and having the uh, main five or main whatever, the, the G5 characters going to uh, the human world through a portal and whatnot and discovering that, oh, there's another world, so on. And I'm also assuming what the animation style is going to be. Is it going to be 3D or is it going to be 2D? Probably 2D because of, I don't know, man. There's a lot of things. And once you do introduce that idea, are they going to meet their human counterparts or is this going to be a continue? There's a lot of theory crafting. And that's why I say, like, I, I highly am into the idea of them going into uh, the universe and exploring the ideas that it could produce. But since it's cancelled, we didn't get that. Eh, who knows, right? Last news for the week. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Rainbow Road Trip now on YouTube officially. Uh, Hasbro continues posting episodes up on their uh, official Friendship is Magic channel. And now you can watch the full Rainbow Road Trip movie with them if you want to relive the hour-long special from a few years ago and hopefully draw some kerfuffle because she's adorable. Go check it out below. Yay. <clears throat> I think we did a review on this one way back in the days. And from what I can tell, it was pretty interesting. It was a fun show. It was a fun show. Who did I review this? Obviously, Silver. Did I? But did I review this with Jacob? Or was it Terra? The three of us. Huh. Can't remember. Go, go, but do check it out in the uh, links below. Go, go search, I guess. Uh, it should be a fun watch. But yeah, now it's officially on YouTube because if I'm not mistaken, this one was a Netflix official, was it? Netflix exclusive, yes. If I'm not mistaken, this was a Netflix exclusive with... Uh, what was it also again? Yeah, uh, the, the idea for this one was, hey, let's keep using the movie models because that's there and let's try and tell a very interesting story of this one and they kind of hit on all points they reused the i'm not 100 sure if they reused because the animation was a bit lower from the movie quality but you do still get the models so that's awesome and for the story it was a very fascinating one with how the story goes. I kind of need a refresher by rewatching it again, but still, it was a fun movie from what I can tell. So yeah, uh, everything's available on uh, the YouTube now, so go check it out there. So anyway, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing with my week? So anyway, um, for this week, I have been working. Yeah, did nothing much in terms of entertainment, not even games. Like, I didn't even have time to play that much gaming. So, yeah, work, work. Oh, hoping that this month will be an entertaining month. Uh, birthday's coming up soon-ish. And a movie that me and my friend wants to watch is going to be coming out. Uh, said movie will be Venom. So, that's going to be... That's going to be fun in a, oh my god, I can't believe I'm watching this little kind of way. So yeah, going to be doing that, I think. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. So I'm going to just wrap it up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the Uh If you'd like to reach us on the Twitters, the Show's Twitter account is at NPS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. If you 
if I will support you get a week's early access to review discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you for me talking about thank yous I would like to thank Jacob Lucky Knight and also Master of Light thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Beer Show see ya